In this video, I will be discussing our web client. Our web client can be run from any computer on your network, Mac or PC, so long as there's a web browser and you know the IP address of the host computer. Adding a job in the web client is very simple and straightforward. We come down to the plus sign here and we select it and on this new window we will choose the choose file. We will select our file and then we will select our workflow. Here we can change our quantity, collate or not collate, uh, our speed for quality purposes, and we can choose a page range as well. Other things we can change here are different rotations, different offsets for your stock, a simple imposition, and a paper profile. So we hit the checkbox here, and we see the job has shown up in our job list. First thing that we'll notice is we do have a thumbnail of the job so we can verify that this is a job we're hoping it is. I can see the speed that has been selected, any spot color adjustment, any global color adjustment, any simple imposition I may have chosen, the page range, collation, and offsets are there as well. To edit the job, I would select the pencil icon here with the job highlighted. And you can see where the changes in the quantity that I made, I can change that back to quantity of one. I can do the collation here as well, the speed, the page range, my rotation, my offsets, my simple positions. But I also have here, as well as my paper profile, I have the ability to do a global color adjustment right here. I can make that global color adjustment, select that move button and we're moving on to the next position. So now that the job is in our list I can select it, highlighting it. You see all my thumbnail here and all the pertinent information that I had chosen. If I hit the pencil for my edit, I can edit spot colors. And I can do this one of two ways. I can use the sliders here or I can choose a spot color and select the printer icon and it takes me to my swatch sheet. I can affect the color steps. You see the numbers move here as I move the slider based on how far I want each one of these to be away from each other. I can select the colors that I want to manipulate based on the eye droplet that I choose. And I can also tell it what file uh, media size that I'm currently running, whether it's 8.5 by 11, a horizontal envelope, or a vertical envelope. And to print that swatch sheet, I would select the printer here. If I'm happy with what I have, I can hit the check mark and I can add a color set. And when I hit OK, hit that button, I see my color set there. And when I select that, it's going to redo that, and then I can send it to off to the printer. And we see the job running, and we can go to our printer and see that everything has come out. Now that the jobs are complete, I can just um, delete them here. I, with this button I can pause any running job with this button I can cancel any running job and this button here is if I had a multi-page document and I made some edits to that document I can select that button and that's the print first page button and it will set my page range one to one and print the first page off so I can look at it make sure all the changes I made were appropriate and then I can go on and, and print the rest of the job I can search for jobs in the search button up here by either using the onboard keyboard or I can use my own keyboard on my computer and do the same thing by typing in the first part of the name and it shows up that way.
That is our web client.